look up our genetics we're genetically superior i'm sorry not sorry hi everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be talking about why it is important for us to understand where our history is i mentioned it in my previous video that i didn't feel like i had a history or the history that i did know was what was taught in school and i know that it was much more to that before i even get into this i just know you have your pen and paper out because you're finna take down some new information do whatever you want with this information but i just know you have a pen and paper down i just know so i'm gonna continue on my journey to being healthy and finding out the proper way to eat i had to go back in time because there's so much fabrication in the world right now you really have to go back into history to really find out what is the right way the way i'm going to do it is i'm gonna do my own research which is what i encourage y'all to do and find out the right way and then follow people that are following that same direction today but to get back on topic i figured out so much within my health journey such as in the morning you should be drinking water hot tea with lime if you do eat have some fruit a big nutritious fruit bowl something that digests and cleanses the system in addition to that i also realized that everybody has a digestive tract right so i know plenty of y'all are aware or have heard of gut health so depending on our geographical location for us it would be africa we have a certain lifestyle that we are meant to live we have a certain way that we're supposed to eat that is different than somebody that was from europe we're genetically made to take in a certain diet our body has certain enzymes that this person might not have that's why not only you have to research about your personal histories at the end of the day your body will always tell you if something is right for you and something isn't something that i've always said is that we're all lactose intolerant i always challenge my friends to go three weeks just give it three weeks without any dairy and you eat dairy again you will see that you're lactose intolerant without a doubt but to get back on topic it's things like that that i figured out berries are antioxidants and going all the way deep into the chemical composition of food because this journey i've realized that it's really important for us to go back in the past and know our history by coming across the different ways that we are supposed to eat and you look at the people that did follow their diet and you start to look at their way of living and what was going on during those times whenever we had leaders such as Martin Luther King, Malcolm X for sure. I just want you guys to go back and look at health conscious people and see how they were interviewed. National television, the white TV host and their demeanor and how they will be talking. And then the black person that's right across from them, they are so poised, they're so well mannered. They are just taking it like a champ. And I was just like, this is not us today, nowhere near. It really expanded my mind. I'm not even trying to be in this reality right now. I'm deep and I'm away and I'm just relearning and re-educating myself on a lot of things go back and do the research yourself look up black leaders and their stories and don't just look at the surface level stories look at the documentaries and figure out what really happened it was so shocking to realize that not only did malcolm x pass away but his whole family his whole legacy martin luther king jr plenty of other leaders that were trying to advance the black movement and actually make a change in the world and make a difference not only did they not live a full life but nor did their sperm nobody made it and shows me the severity of how much it's suppressed it's like Wait a minute, they succeeded. This is the last thing on anybody's mind. Because we're too filled up with so many distractions that they planted on us to the point to where in order to pull somebody out, like you have to take a group of people, put them in a system, 
reprogram their minds and put them back out into the world <laughs> that's literally the only way i just want to emphasize look into their stories and you'll find their counterparts people behind them that helped supported them and you look into their stories in depth you'll realize there are some real serious things in the world that's going on right now and it's all being suppressed and we're all being controlled we are still slaves Hey, let me just expound on that a little bit before I close out on the video. When people say that we are still in slavery, they say that because when you go back in history, just think about how we would carry ourselves. Like we would be upright, we'll be righteous, the women, our homes, we're tight knit because your man, he's going out there and he's fighting for the world. He's not going out to shoot a music video they had their fun but his day his job was going out to have a fight the wife she'll be at home taking care of home life being the nurturer she would know how to cook she would be the healer for the home she's everybody's safe space she's the one that creates the home whatever she's filled up with inside is going to fill the home and that's what's going to be implanted on her children her husband everybody has a certain role that they're supposed to have in order for us to work as black people we had such a strong foundation every time the people that are, were in lead and they see that <laughs> we were trying to advance and help ourselves because we were placed here on this earth. We weren't supposed to be here in the first place. And whenever we got here, the people that had control, they seen that if we get some power, if we really understand what we're capable of, man, we'll dominate. We will dominate. So they did things like cut off testicles to degrade us. And one, because they were just jealous. They just envied us because the men back then was just slanging. What did that have to do with anything? There were people that came over, took the land from the natives. Then they brought, they had us with them. That was only my parents, parents, parents. There are people that are alive that were born in the 1930s and 40s. So whenever it came down to these movements that were in the 60s, they were in their 40s. So that means that two generations back, our parents' parents, they were probably in their 20s. So the people that want to fight and say, oh, that was way back then, those people that are in now in their 60s, 80s, they're not fully eradicated because you still have people in their 50s and 40s and 30s and 20s still that are following the same ways that they were taught and they are the ones that's in these positions leading us they're the ones that own all of the tv shows they're the ones that own all of the big companies so they get to choose what's put out there they get to choose it all meanwhile we trying to find our way through the system slowly but surely you know how long that's gonna take now imagine if we just all got on board the only way we gonna all get it is if we all do the work ourselves because I was trying to make this a really short video. But if you really go back in time, you'll realize that you had leaders like Malcolm X that knew that and that was trying to make a change. And they caught up with him because they saw that he knew, wait a minute, we, we actually the superior. Look up our genetics. We're genetically superior. I'm sorry, not sorry. The whole time we've been taught that we're the minority, but it's a lot of us out here. It always has been even on the plantations. You got the white man sitting there, 60 people out there in the field, and they ain't think, hold on, wait. If we all stop working on the cotton individually, and we all come together and stop struggling, let's take the white man down. Shit, maybe we can kick our feet up and go in the house and cook and chill and live a little bit more comfortably. Once they realize, hold on, it's, it's a whole plantation, it's a whole bunch of black people living comfortably, you know? Then you're gonna have some people trying to attack. But by then, we'll be ready. We'll be fed good. We'll be prepared. You know? <laughs> but seriously, I just wanted to stress the importance of that. As y'all can see, I just came from a workout. But I just want y'all to understand the importance of going back in y'all history. Along with this health journey, like I said, I am want to tell y'all everything. So along with how to, you know, fight a fight, you gotta have the right mind. Telling the people how to eat right. 
that's where I come in. Because you can't fight a fight without a good mind, without a good body, without a good gut. Definitely follow me on my Instagram at C-O-C-O-J-A-Y-F-I-T. Like and subscribe my content. Definitely comment down below content that you would like to see. Tell me your opinion on the discussion. If you feel the same way, you felt like you were the only one. I want to have a conversation. This is a community. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and continue with my day. But thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Mm -hmm.